Today, we'll be diving into the Thinkorswim platform to learn the best ways to manage and close option spreads within here. This isn't going to be particularly difficult to do, but it has been pointed out to me that I've really only touched on how to open up new spreads, and I've kind of failed to show how you can eventually close those out. So if we go ahead and jump right in, the very first thing to keep in mind is that nearly all of your management is going to be done on the Activity and Positions page within the Monitor tab. Right down here on this Monitor page, we can keep track of everything going on in our account right now. So at the top, we can see all of our current open working orders if we have any. And then right down here below, we can see all of our current open positions. So right here, you can currently see I've got open positions on Apple, on Google, and on Microsoft. And by clicking on each of those, we can open them up and see exactly what positions we have on each of them. Looking closely at each of these options legs inside of here, if we came back up to Apple, I can see that this is a long vertical call spread. I can see down here below, if I expand it on Google, this is actually a butterfly spread. And then right down here below on Microsoft, I also sold an iron condor. But this is a bit of a mess, and if I had multiple different spreads on each of these stocks, it would be really difficult to pick things out. So the very first thing that I want to do in order to clean this page up a little bit is actually have my platform group up these spreads automatically going forward. So to do that, we're going to need to head up here to the setup menu in the upper right hand corner and then come down below and open up the application settings. Here within that menu that opens up on our left hand side, we're going to find the positions tab. Then come over here to the right and find the Group Positions by section and go ahead and flip that over from Instrument over to Order. We can then come down here below and apply those brand new settings. And now if we were to come back up above and take a closer look at each of these spreads, we can actually see that each one of them is grouped together and they're also identified. So here we can see I do have a vertical spread on Apple. I've got a butterfly spread on Google. And down here below, we can see that Iron Condor is identified as well. What that also does is show us the overall cost and the current price of the entire spread as well. So over here to the right, we can see it looks like I received $4 for selling this Iron Condor. And currently it's trading for $4.43, which is why I'm currently down $43. Bucks. Now that isn't necessary, but it really does clean up this page. So it's going to be a lot easier to manage these spreads and just keep track of them going forward. But again, the whole point of this video is to learn how to close out these spreads. So let's go ahead and begin with the very first one up here at the top. We'll begin with the vertical spread on Apple. And in order to close out that vertical spread in Thinkorswim, all we have to do is follow a few simple steps. Beginning first by finding the position itself. So right here where it says vertical, we are simply going to right click on that. And for those of you on a Mac, a right click is usually either done by using two fingers at the same time or by holding down the command key while clicking with two fingers. But either way, once this menu is opened up, we can then come over here and find the button mark create a closing order. And that will then display a few different types of trades we could do over here on the right. Now, if you wanted to close out the entire spread, you would click on this top line right here where it says sell one vertical. But if you instead wanted to close out a single leg at a time, that's where this comes in down here below. So it actually breaks out the entire spread right here, but the overarching trade is always going to be on the very top. Now in my case, since I rarely ever leg out of a spread, I'm going to come up here above and click on the very top line to sell the entire vertical. And you'll see that as soon as I did that, it actually built out a closing trade right down here below to sell the entire vertical spread. So right here, you can see in my case, since I had a long call spread, it automatically built out an order to sell that exact same call spread at whatever the current price is right now. But this line is where we can now adjust the number of contracts we wanted to close. So over here on the left, if I had more than one, we could adjust it if we wanted to. Maybe we didn't want to sell the whole thing, but only half of it. So this is where we could adjust that. We could then come to the right and adjust the price at which we wanted to sell it for the type of order we wanted to use, and then how long we wanted that order good for. If we were to come back over here to the left, I can see that this is a five point wide vertical spread. So I know the absolute most I could sell this vertical spread for was gonna be five bucks. 
since I'm never trying to get the absolute max profit on a spread, I'm going to come over here and say, I want to sell this vertical if it ever goes up to three bucks. And since that probably is not going to happen today, I'm going to come over here to the right and adjust this over from a day order to a GTC order. So now this trade is going to go out every single day to sell this vertical spread if it ever hits three bucks. Now, in order to place that, we'll just come down here below and hit confirm and send. We'll then get a little confirmation box just confirming that everything looks right. And if it does, we can then hit send once again. And there you have it. That's how you're going to close out a vertical spread on Thinkorswim. Next, we'll go ahead and move on to closing out a butterfly spread. And you'll notice that the process here is going to be quite similar to that of closing out a vertical spread. So like before, we're going to head up here to the monitor page because that's where we can keep track of all of our open positions. And right down here below, we can find that butterfly spread on Google. If we go ahead and take a look at the right, we can see that I originally paid $1.90 for that butterfly. It's currently $1.48, so I'm already down about 42 bucks on it. If we take a look at the strike prices that I picked on this butterfly, we can again see that's five points wide on either side, which also happens to mean that the most I could ever sell this butterfly is also five bucks. But in order for us to close it out, we're going to do the exact same thing as before. We're going to come up here to the name of it, and we're going to right-click on the word butterfly. We're then going to look in the menu to the right and find the button mark Create a Closing Order. To the right, we can again see each one of the potential trades that we could do on our current spread. On top, you can see the overarching trade itself, a butterfly spread. But you can also see it could be broken out into a bunch of different trades if we wanted to leg out of it. So we could back out of it as a back ratio spread. We could sell a vertical. We could just buy back the two uh, 125 calls that I sold. We could buy back another vertical spread or we could leg out of each of those individual legs as well right here. But again, for the most part, if you did this as a butterfly spread, you're going to close it as a butterfly spread. You're probably not going to leg out of it. So to do that, we're going to come up here to the very top and click on sell one butterfly. Just like before, you can see it automatically builds out an order ticket to sell that exact same butterfly that we own right down here below. So here it does all the work for us. It fills in the number of contracts. It fills in the strike prices. And then all we have to do is adjust the price and the time and force if we wanted to. So in my case, so let's say I wanted to adjust this to $2.50. I want to sell this butterfly if it ever hits $2.50. Since that's probably not going to happen today, I'll also come over here to the right and adjust this over from a day order to a good till cancel order. We can then come down here below and hit confirm and send and send to actually place it. And just like that, we have put in an order to close out our butterfly spread. It is as simple as that. Now, lastly, we'll go ahead and take a look at how to close out an iron condor. And the process, as you might guess, is not much different from the previous two. We'll go ahead and head up here to the monitor tab at the top. We'll look down here below and find our Microsoft iron condor that we sold. We can see to the right that we sold it for four bucks. It's currently 436, so we are currently down 35 bucks as of now. And just like before, if I wanted to close this out, we'll find the name of the spread, Iron Condor, here, and simply right click on it. We can then come to the menu over here on the right, which does give us a bunch of different options, but we're going to find Create a Closing Order at the very top. Come to the right, where we can again see each one of the potential trades that we could do. But on the top is the iron condor itself, and since I want to close out of the entire trade, the entire iron condor, I am going to go ahead and click on that one. And this time, you can see an order gets built out down here below to buy back that iron condor. And remember, the reason it's doing that is because I sold it originally to get into it. So now in order to close it out, I have to buy it back. But right here, you can see it automatically fills out the number of contracts that I currently have. It fills out the strike prices that I originally bought and sold. And over here on the right, we can then adjust the price at which I wanted to buy it back for. Now remember, since I sold this originally to get into it, I want to buy it back for as little as possible. In this case, let's just say I wanted to get about 50% profit on it. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this down to 2 bucks. I'm also going to make this order good until canceled, since I want it to work every single day until it fills. And now to place that, we'll just come down here below and hit confirm and send, and then send. 
And there you go. Now you know exactly how to close out verticals, butterflies, and iron condors within Thinkorswim. And just as a reminder, if we wanted to keep track of those orders, we could always head back up here to the Monitor tab. And then within the Working Order section, we can see all three of those orders that we just placed right here. And remember, the key to successful trading is not just about knowing when to enter a position, but also when and how to exit. So definitely keep practicing these steps and familiarize yourself with the process. And also, do not forget that the Monitor tab is your best friend when it comes to managing your open positions. But hopefully that helps, and if you are looking to learn more, you might find this next video helpful as well. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you on the next one.